Hello and welcome to our today's video. Today we will learn how to create a speedometer chart like this. This is also known as a gate chart. Although this chart looks like a single chart, but actually there are three charts here combined. Two donut charts, one for the category and another for the level. This is the category which is denoted by different colors and the numbers are here to measure the performance and here is a pie chart that creates this needle. If you want to create this chart in Excel, watch this video till the end because I will show you step by step how to create this from scratch. To create a speedometer or a gauge chart in Excel, you need three tables as your source data. The first one is the performance level. Here we have set four stages of performance with a value against each of them. You can change this and the total must be 100. The second one is the levels and their corresponding value. Here we have created 10 segments with a value of 10 for each of them. You can change it to 5 into 20 or 20 into 5 or anything that you like as per your requirement. Whatever segments you provide here, they will represent these segments in your speedometer. The third table is a small table only with three parameters. One is the performance value based on which the needle will show the measurement on your chart. Next is the thickness of the needle in your speedometer. And this is 200 minus the performance and the thickness. Now you can ask why 200? 200 is here because this is 0 to 100 to 200 for a complete circle. 0 to 100 up to this and again 100 to 200 up to this. So the pie chart that we will use for the needle that will show the achievement up to the needle with this value. Then the thickness of the needle that is 2 and the remaining part will be counted by subtracting the achievement and the needle thickness from 200. Now the first thing that we need to do is to select this data of the performance level table go to insert and create a donut chart from here for space utilization let us delete this and the chart title right click on the chart go to the format data series and from here you need to change the angle of the first slice to 270 let's type 270 here and hit enter now your donut chart is rotated what we need to do next is to select particularly the bottom segment which represents this 100 and go to the fill option and click on no fill. We can change the color of the different segments in the performance level to the color as we want. Let's give it light green and the top performance part will be the dark green. Now we need to add the second donut chart and for that we need to right click again, go to select data from here, click on add, let us give a series name, labels and select the series values from here, hit enter, click on ok, click on ok again, here by default the angle of the first slice is 270, so you don't need to change it. For the second one. Now what you need to do is to change the color of the different segments of the second donut chart. First one we will click on no fill. We will select as per our wish. For a better presentability I am giving the gray color to alternate segments and for the remaining segments I will make it a deeper gray. So it gives a good presentation of the segments. You can add data labels from here by selecting, right clicking the segments and clicking on add data tables. I want to show the data labels as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 like this. So what I will do is to select them, click on value from sales and now select these sales from here click on ok 
and from here uncheck the value and show leader lines options your speedometer with the performance level colors and the level of the measurements are ready delete any other text which you don't need i'm trying to make it a bit bigger for a better representation simply by dragging now the only balance thing is to provide the needle for that we need to right click on this go to select data once again and again add one more chart i will give the name pointer and select these values click on ok click on ok again now we need to right click and go to the chain chart type option the last chart that we added need to be a pie chart so we will go to the combo option change the series 1 and series 2 to the donut charts and the third one to a pie chart and we'll click on ok after this chart type changing it is once again rotated no issue go to the format data series and change the angle of first slice again to 270 same for the donut charts also select the big segment in particular for the pie chart right click on it go to format data point and from here click on no fill the same thing that you need to do for the smaller part also click on no fill as well now only the needle is there but you can see that the needle has went under the labels and the performance level but we need it on the top so you don't need to worry just right click on this go to change chart type check the secondary axis on for the pointer click on ok and now your pointer is ready from here you can change the color of the needle so your needle is now ready along with the speedometer and you can change the pointer value from here and, and the position of the needle now will be changed as per that you can improve the look of the speedometer by inserting a shape from the illustrations and from here give it a formula to link to the pointer value format the shape with no line on the border no fill also and let us change the font to a real black increase the font size to have a better display now you can change this from here and your speedometer will show exactly the value that you will give and also will display the value below the speedometer you can use this speedometer or gauge chart as a part of the dashboard or independently to showcase any single point of achievement like customer satisfaction or the overall project performance achievement or anything that you like if you have liked this video please share with someone who also may like it and if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching